Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we discuss about the JSP include directive. It is used to include the other resources like HTML, JSP and text file into the current JSP page. Let's see with practical. First I click on the file and then new and uh, take a dynamic web project. A dialog box will be displayed here and simply I need to write my project name. Um, giving here my project name as a directive demo and uh, click on the next next check the generate web dot xml deployment descriptor and click on the finish it is taking little time my project is displayed under the project explorer and i explore my directive demo project and uh, I right click on the web content. A pop up menu will be displayed here. Click on the new and uh, take a JSP file and simply I giving my JSP file name as a index and press enter and my index.jsp file is created here and here I am using the include directive and include file equal header dot HTML and press enter. Look here, this is the JSP include directive. This is the syntax angle bracket percentage at the date symbol and include and then file equal. Just you need here to give the URL of your file you want to include in the current JSP page, means index.jsp page. Simply I am taking here the H1 label heading and press enter and I write here this is my current JSP page and save it. Okay, uh, it is getting error because the header.html it is not found so I just need to create a header.html file and just I right click on the web content new and take a html file and I am simply giving here my file name as a header.html and press enter this is my header.html file and within the body I am taking here a div tag inline CSS style equal height as a hundred pixel and width is hundred percent and background color is black save it terminated with semicolon and press enter Within this div tag, I am taking another div and uh, using inline CSS style equal height 50 pixel and uh, margin top as uh, 50 pixel and uh, margin left as 10 pixel terminated with semicolon and uh, taking here the anchor tag href attribute double quote and right here home I am also using the style 
inline CSS giving you the color as white of the text color and uh, text decoration none terminated with semicolon I just copy it and uh, paste here okay I need another property float left just copy and uh, paste and uh, save it and uh, I simply right click and uh, run it I want to see the look and feel of the header.html file next and uh, finish started starting tomcat here it is almost done 100% it is taking little time It is taking more time. No problem. The header.html displayed by the browser onto the screen. And uh, look here. I simply refresh it, but there is no effect because I am giving here. Look here same anchor tag content so I change it about us and uh, contact us and uh, I save it come to index.jsp and uh, save it write it right click and uh, run it next finish my index.jsp page is displayed by the browser it is taking little time look here home about us contact us this is the header.html file information and uh, this is the index.jsp so in this project I simply include the header.html into the index.html file and uh, the benefit of using this is that if you want to create a project and uh, that project contain 20 pages and uh, same header is shared by all the pages so you create a separate header file header.html and uh, with the help of jsp include directive you include header.html into all these pages and if you make any changes into the header.html that changes reflected to all the all the pages of the project if you are not using this header.html separate file so you need to write all these code onto every page and uh, if you make any changes into one page it is not reflect to other page so 
you go every page and make changes so it is very very beneficial for us to create a separate header file header.html and uh, with the help of jsp include directive include this header.html to every page okay understand thank you friends please subscribe my channel and uh, like my video thanks for watching my video thanks a lot